Hello everyone and welcome to yet again another Friday new product post where we talk about our new products for the week here at Sparkfun Electronics. Uh, let's get started. First up, let's talk about these guys. Um, as you can see, we've got these three little black boxes and these are basically little batteries with a built-in um, booster and a built-in charger. We've got them in three different sizes. We've got this 1000 milliamp hour. We've got a 2000 milliamp hour. And then we have the big daddy, the 6600 milliamp hour. Now these all have some USB ports on them. And on these two, we've got a micro B and then we've got just a standard USB A. So both of these have that connection and they've just got a little on button. The biggest one has a micro on the side and then two USB A's on the end here. What you do is you basically just plug in the micro into your computer or you know, whatever it is um, into a power supply, charge it up. Um, this light will actually turn green on the unit when it is fully charged. And then all you do is plug your device into the USB like that and you're good to go. So it's just kind of like having this um, portable USB battery power thing. Um, the LiPo battery inside is boosted up to 5 volts. So, you know, obviously 5 volts is the standard USB voltage. So it makes it really to use with your um, tablet, your phone, or, you know, your Arduino or Android device, whatever it is you're trying to um, either power or charge. Um, I've actually cracked one open here. And this gives you an idea of what's inside. We've basically got pretty much our standard... Um, LiPo battery, and then we have this circuitry which actually has a booster, a charger, and there's a little microcontroller that controls some of the other stuff. And if we just press this button, you can see the green light comes on. This gives you an idea of the size of the 6600. There's an iPhone. Um, so it's a little bit taller. It's about like twice the um, height or thickness of the iPhone. And we've got the 2000. And of course, the 1000 is pretty diminutive. And the 6000 also comes with a charging cable as well. And the interesting thing about these is the operation. When you press this button, the light comes on, the unit is active, the unit starts spitting out 5 volts. If it doesn't see a load on there, it will just turn off. Now one thing that we found is the Arduino by itself is not really enough load to put on the device. If you throw like an LED and maybe something else on there, that is enough of a load to keep the device on. So you're gonna have to load this thing to keep it on, otherwise it's just gonna turn off. The other interesting thing about this is if it's charging and then you go to plug something in and try, it, try to turn it on, it won't turn on while it's charging. But you can plug something in, turn it on, and then charge it. So just something to keep in mind. Next up, we've got a new enclosure for Arduino. This is the Tux case. This case is actually machined from a solid block of aluminum. As you can see, you can see all the milling marks there. And it has this um, acrylic top. I'll show you one all built up. It goes over the top like that and then has a bunch of screws. So it looks like that when you get an Arduino in it. So nice clear acrylic case and you have access to the um, shield headers, you have access to the ICSP header, and then you got a couple little vents right there over the V-Reg, so pretty cool. It is a nice hefty case for the Arduino. It even has these extra four holes that are unused. We're actually thinking this could be kind of interesting for um, hacker spaces or labs where you want to keep the Arduino stationary. You could actually drill this down to a desk so you have an Arduino permanently there. Um, this could also work with anything else that has the same footprint as the Arduino, like um, I don't know, maybe the Maple or the Netduino or something like that. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about is because the way this case is set up, the headers are a little bit recessed down inside of here. So what we suggest is to use these um, stackable headers like what we have. And you can attach these down in there to give you a little bit more space for those shields that you're going to attach. Um, the thing about this case is it can accommodate a shield without the stackable headers but only if that shield is perfectly flat on the bottom and it just you know comes straight down if you have one of those boards that 
have surface mount components and the leads come down at all, that will move it up enough to where you actually can't use it with this and you're gonna need these stackable headers. As you can see, the stackable headers actually raise up a little bit and gives you a lot more room and a lot more access for different kinds of shields. So check out the tux case. Lastly, we've got this little guy. This is the MPL 3115A2 altitude sensor. The neat thing about this is you don't really need to do a whole lot with it. We have some nice example code on the website that you connect this up over I squared C, read it in, spits out your altitude in serial. It's pretty basic. You can see it's just got your I squared C, we got a couple mounting holes, and that's about all there is to it. It's pretty accurate. Um, it's accurate to about a meter, and um, we said on the desk, threw it out there, and yeah, we get an exact reading, or pretty exact reading, um, at what the altitude is here. So it's a pretty neat little board, and we've got a little demo to show you um, using this and um, actually one of these battery packs. So let's check that out. So here we've got the altitude sensor. We've got a Pro Mini breadboard and the little battery pack we talked about. Um, what happens is when we turn this on, it actually looks for the highest reading from the altitude sensor. So we give it a toss up in the air, records that reading as the max along you know, the arc of throwing it, and in every subsequent throw that we toss this up in the air after that, it looks to see if that's a higher reading than the one that was previously stored. So we're gonna put this into a little plastic ball, throw it up in the air, and it'll give us a green light if we threw it higher. So we can play a little game of who can toss the ball the highest in the air. So we've got it on and you can't really see the light through there because it's got all the padding and whatnot inside. So now we just throw it up in the air and it gets that highest reading. Okay, so from here on out, every throw that we throw it, it's gonna see if it's higher than that one. Green? Definitely higher. Yep. Uh, still on and higher. I'm afraid to toss it too high. Oh, throw it high. <laughs> <laughs> Altitude sensor! So there you have it. These are our products for this week. We've got a couple more products on the website, so you can go ahead and check out the product post for the rest of the new products we have for this week. And we will see you again next week with even more new products, another video, another product post. So see you then.